Hey Christian, now you know, I'd always suggest you miss out the first bit and go into the second bit. Do this at the end of your paper, leave this to the end. It's not worth the time and effort for free marks, I don't think. So do this at the end, because sometimes it's a bit of footing about. So try that once you've done everything else. So do part B first, then this we're going to do, um, we'll do try and do A and B in the same video. Wow, I'll put my wrong manage that, baby. So um, we're trying to show that the surface area is given by this. And I haven't done this question before. To me, surface area means both sides of the shape. But in this question, for some reason, surface area just means what we can see here. But anyway, so for that, I'd be thinking, right, what is surface area then? Well, I've got two circles. So let's just put this in English. I've got two circles. So there's A. Let's see if my pen catches up to me. Nope. Computer's having a little break. A wall computer. There we go, there we go. So I've got two circles and I've got one rectangle. And honestly, when you start doing these kind of questions, that's the level. Be just take your time, okay? So what's the area of a circle wall? It's going to be two times pi r squared. Circle's pi r squared, isn't it? Yep, know that. And a rectangle is just going to be uh, length times breadth. Okay. Doesn't sound too bad. So what we got here, I'm actually quite close already, aren't I? So this is then saying that the surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared. So I've got that bit in the bag. But then I've got this length times breadth. If I write it as LB. Which I don't want. It seems to have put the um, area of the rectangle in terms of a radius. So what else do I know? I know that the volume is 450. Okay, so this bit, this is where, this is where we, get, we get complicated. I know that's a radius, that's fine. I know that the height of this tin is H, that's also fine. So I called that, um, I'll maybe change that instead of length times, I'll keep it to length times breadth, okay. But what I know now is that the, the height, that's actually B, isn't it? So I could say that one well, over B, if I come over here, I know that B is just equal to H. That's good. But what about this length? How can I work out this value here? Well, that is the circle unwrapped, isn't it? If I look at the circle here, it's like I've taken it and stretched it all the way out. So that's actually the circumference of the um, of the circle. Yeah. So how do you work out the circumference of a circle? Well, that's just pi d, which is equal to 2 pi r. So I'm getting close then. I can say that, okay, my area of the, re my area of the rectangle is 2 pi r h. So we're getting there. Getting close. So r squared plus 2 pi r h. So very, very close. I just want to kind of get rid of this 2 pi and the h value really. So what else do I know? I know the volume is 450. So the volume of this tin is equal to 450. Now what's the volume of a cylinder? That's pi r squared h, which is equal to 450. So can I get an equation maybe just for h on its own to get rid of that h? Yeah, it'd be 450 divided by pi r squared. So I can substitute that in there. I can say, right, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r, and I'll take this h equation and sub that in. So that's 450 over pi r squared. And then we'll start cancelling things out. I can cancel out the pi's. I can cancel out one of the r's, <coughs> pardon me. So that's going to come out as 2 pi r squared plus the 900, because 2 times 450, the pies cancel, and I'm just left with one radius on the bottom. Done. So, I mean, when you see it, you're like, mm, yeah, fair enough. But I can understand if you're under stress in the exam, you might think that's there's quite a lot in that. And for three marks, you know, it's very easy to miss something. You know, I have done this question before, so I think the first time was a wee bit slower. Um, so, yeah, it's not a great use of your time, I don't think. By this time, you could have definitely done a wave function question for four marks, and that's just the same procedure all the way through. So go and go do question B and come back to this later on. But usually 
you're putting together two equations that you know that's it so you should get so far down and then you kind of look and say well how do i get rid of one term i need to use this other equation that's the standard procedure for it um, so you could try and write something and see what you get but it's certainly not worth spending 20 minutes in the exam playing about with okay so you know do part b get the optimization done and then come back to it